What is up? This is Joe coming at you again with your daily Buckeye Blitz for Tuesday, July 26, 2022. Hope you guys enjoyed the daily shows. This is your five-minute Buckeye topic, and uh, this is seven days a week, every day of the week. So all day, every day, we never close, 7-Eleven, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, today's topic, let's get into it. How good does this Buckeye defense have to be to win a championship? So I'm going to run through some stats. We're going to run through some painful, painful 2021 stats. Um, I don't really feel like going back further because sometimes it gets more painful. So uh, 2021 stats, we're going to we're going to look at some some major statistical categories and see how we can get better and what does it take to really win. A national championship. Okay. So here we go. Let's start with uh, opponent points per game and Ohio State allowed 22.8. Now that's 31st in the country. Uh, not great, but not, not at the bottom of the, the, uh, the stat sheet here. So what do we think? I think um, a points per game to give up Georgia was 10.4. That was number one in the country, obviously, but Bama was middle of the road. They were like a 17th. They allowed 20.6 points. So I think anywhere in the top 20 for most of these statistical categories is fine. So I'm going to go, let's shave like three points off of that, that 22.8. Let's get that down under 20. You got to keep in mind, we, we face a lot of spread offenses. So that's what teams are going to do, and they're going to be able to put up some points here and there. So uh, let's let's try and get that down under 20 into a top 20, you know, 19 to 20 point per game average. All right. That, that I think that will do. Next, let's look at uh, red zone scores per game. Last year, we were 54th. We allowed 2.8 scores per game in the red zone. That's TDs and field goals field goals okay so that's terrific uh you gotta tighten up you gotta this is like you know remember the old school um trestle teams and things like that where it, bend but don't break you know when luke fickle was the defensive coordinator and things like that it was it was much fewer than that it was it was they'll allow you get, to get close to the red zone but once you get close to the 20 your shit's on lockdown so we need to really knock that down i would say 2.1 is top 20, 2.2 is top 20 compared to last year. Uh, Georgia was a 1.4. Uh, Bama was a 2.4. So they were they were okay, but I want to get that top 20 uh, into a 2.2 or 2.1 uh, scores per red zone, per game in the red zone. Next, we got uh, opponent yards per game. Uh, this is a big one. So we were... 51st in that one as well. So in the in the top 50-ish, allowing 374 a game, that's got to improve. Uh, 374 is outrageous. Let's let's shave that down to like let's take like 30 points off, 30 uh, yards off of that. Let's get that down in the 340 range. All right, that'll get your defense into the top 20 nationally and we'll go from there uh i think that's a win so uh moving on let's look at uh yards per play this is a big uh, uh analytic nerd stat uh vegas also uses it so you might want to keep that in mind uh we allowed 5.1 yards per per play last year that was 35th in the country again not horrific but not great let's shave that bitch down to get into the top 20, like a 4.9, a 4.8, you know, anything under that is great. We've got to get that under five yards. So uh, 4.9, 4.8 yards per play, that works for me. Uh, you know, Bama wasn't even number one last year or or Georgia. Wisconsin was number one. They allowed four, 4.0. Georgia was 4.1, Bama 4.5. Those are the top six in the top six. All right, let's go uh, rushing yards per game. So let's get a little more specific. Not terrible there, okay? We were 24th, 127.8 yards per game, all right? Uh, 
we got to shave probably, I would like to shave like 10 yards off of that. That'll put us into the top 20. So looking at a, a 117, something like that, that'd be ideal, I think. Um, Wisconsin, again, uh, number one last year in uh, rushing yards per game. Georgia, number two. So uh, that was 65. Wisconsin allowed 65 yards per game Wow, on the ground. Georgia was 80, so a huge gap there. Bama was 87. That's your, your three, your top five. All right, our last category, passing yards per game. This was fucking atrocious. 87th. We allowed 246 yards passing per game. That just can't happen. I don't care what era and what offenses are doing and shit like that. You got to shave a lot off of that. I'm talking like 40 plus yards per game. Uh, so I'm saying we got to get under 200 or down at least close to 200 yards per game passing. Uh, that's, that's horrific. So uh, and Bama and, and Georgia were, were down there too. I mean, uh, these guys were not in the top five. Bama was 51st. They allowed 221. Uh, let me find Georgia real quick. Georgia was 18th, so they're they're in the top 20, but they still allowed 200. So I think if you get that thing down under 200 yards per game, that's a recipe for victory and a national championship. This doesn't have to be like all-time great defense, you know. So that's my take. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, as always, please subscribe to the channel, uh, subscribe to the podcast, wherever you listen to it, uh, and share it with somebody. I'd really appreciate it if you uh, if you have a friend or uh, especially if you have any family members that or friends that are SEC fans, that last episode might be uh, worth, worth passing along or uh, retweet or whatever. But as always... Uh, we appreciate you, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. See you.